Hey, are you here? So glad to hear it. It is the Paul Leslie Hour, and we've got a review for you today of Gino Vanelli's 2019 album, Wilderness Road. Oh, man, you got to hear this album. So let's have that review and fool Paul Leslie. Take it from here. Perfect is a pretty heavy word. There aren't many albums that meet that description, and I don't think that we should just throw around that word, perfection. I love greatness, and I'm in awe of people who create art that reaches that level of flawless, or even seemingly flawless. As a lover of music, I listen to albums by the gross. Sometimes I forget that not everyone consumes music in such quantities. When you listen to lots of records, you may start to judge the music a little differently. That said, it doesn't mean anyone is more or less qualified to judge a record. There aren't so many 21st century albums that reach the pinnacle, but it does happen. It's always thrilling when it does. Over the last year, I've played one such specimen entitled Wilderness Road by Gino Vanelli. Released in 2019, the album was produced and arranged by Gino. He also wrote all of the songs. Gino Vanelli is known for enduring pop songs like I Just Want to Stop and Living Inside Myself, among others. He hasn't stopped, and if you only know of Gino's hits, Wilderness Road may surprise you. If you've got the time to listen closely, it'll stun you. The first thing you'll notice from all of the songs is that Gino Vanelli is a storyteller, and there's a cinematic quality to the songs. Wilderness Road is the kind of album that can arrest your imagination. I'll tell you what I mean. When I listen to music, I like to experience it in different ways. It can be a drastically different experience to listen to an album with earbuds as you walk in a city center or on a CD player in your room in total darkness. Try it. Pay attention to the songs, then start to pay attention to how you feel. I've listened to this Wilderness Road album while driving through sparsely populated areas in South Carolina and Georgia. I've had Gino's stories completely pull me in. On one occasion, I realized I had lost track of where I was. The funny thing is that I found myself on a real wilderness road. There are so many incredible songs on this album that it's difficult to name highlights. You know what indicates a great album? When you never think of skipping a track. Ghost Train is the opening track. You'll hear the eerie words all aboard, and it's an otherworldly way to start the journey you're about to go on. These songs are different, and different is good. I think Gino Vanelli is a likely master of communication. It's not just the lyrics of songs like these, but there's nuance in his vocals, in the modulation and the arrangements. Everything on this album seems to be where it's supposed to be. I do have a favorite song. The second track is Road to Redemption. I may not skip tracks when I listen to Wilderness Road, but I do repeat this one pretty much every time. It's a lush track, with Gino's voice front and center. Gino's vocals just soar on Road to Redemption. You're going to want to blare this one. Redemption is one of my favorite words, and it is one of the best things we'll know. Here's a song worthy of that word. Give Me Back My Life is a song I could imagine Sinatra wanting to sing if he heard it. Sinatra could sing those songs of tremendous joy, but he could also make you feel like you had a heart that was shattered into smithereens. Mind if I look around the place for the missing part of me? It's the kind of lyric we could see from back in the Great American Songbook. I'm glad someone is still writing them. Then there's Wayward Lover, one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. It always manages to break my heart. Although the song is romantic, it brings to mind the parable of the prodigal son. Wayward Lover is pure poetry, and what a vocal. I've listened to this song and wondered, can something really be loved without a loss or a fear of loss being attached to it? Songs like that are heavy, but another thing about Wilderness Road is the valleys and peaks. 
I get a feeling much thought was put into the sequencing of the songs. The way I see it, it ain't up to you channels Ray Charles. It's wry and feels like it comes with a wink. Then there's Yet Something Beautiful, which is a song that stands at the corners of sad and hopeful. For all of the visual beauty in this world, the things that are more beautiful than we can imagine are unseen. It's usually only in music where we can capture those depths. Yet Something Beautiful is an extraordinary story. If this review gets you to listen to that song, I'll consider the review a success. Gino isn't afraid to write about the human condition. As Alan and Marilyn Bergman, two of the greatest lyricists ever, told me, what the world doesn't need is just another song. Wrestling with Angels addresses man's eternal fight between good and evil that often feels that it exists internally. The writer isn't afraid to go there. I love that this song addresses despair, one of the most insidious forces known to man. I'm not very wise, but if I had to give any advice, it would simply be, do not despair. This song addresses such an important subject, though little discussed. Don't believe lies, especially lies you think come from your own head. What's in a title? When I see those words, Wilderness Road, it makes me think of those idyllic sojourns into tranquil places that you occasionally find yourself on. William Wordsworth conceptualized what he called spots of time, those seemingly mundane moments that occur when you're in nature that create a lasting memory. Wordsworth said that these spots of times had the potential of, quote, lifting us up when we are fallen. When you get to the end of the album, you've traveled such a heavy journey, you'll need some relief. That's why the album ends with the title track, which can only be described as cathartic. So often I've listened to this album while traveling on physical roads, and as I listen to the song Wilderness Road, it conjures many of those scenic roads I've traveled, both literally and metaphorically. Wilderness Road ends philosophically, you've got plenty to think about. I hope you don't find my strong enthusiasm tiring. It's just that the whole record is on such a high vibration. The recurring theme in all of Gino's stories is the palette of emotions we call existence. He's a poet. Without speaking for him, it seems he realizes that it is not just love that exists. That would be easy. There is beauty, but great blemishes too. What impresses me about this evocative album isn't singular. It's not just about the arrangements or how the instrumentation can be so subtle, but with nuance that works to great effect. It's Gino's writing of atypical songs. Here's the thing. It's so rare that someone who writes songs like this is able to present them with this level of refinement. It's downright inspiring. I recommend Wilderness Road. Like me, I hope you'll be glad you know this album exists. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for joining me on this review. Consider listening to this album. Then I invite you to think about the things I've written about. If it inspires you to listen to the album, I'll be happy. And as always, I'd love to hear what you think. <laughs>